Do you talk to yourself the way you'd talk to someone you love? Often, we underestimate the power that words wield over our minds, especially the words we whisper to ourselves. Self-talk, a constant internal dialogue that plays like a soundtrack to our lives, holds a profound influence on our self-image and mental well-being. You see, the human mind is a fertile garden. The seeds of thought we plant through our self-talk bloom into the flowers of our self-perception. A kind word can foster a blossom of self-love, while a harsh criticism can wither it into self-doubt. Unfortunately, we tend to be our harshest critics, relentlessly scrutinizing our flaws and failures. This negative self-talk can cast a gloomy shadow over our mental garden, leading to a negative self-perception. So let's embark on a journey of transformation. It's time to change the narrative, to be kinder, gentler, and more understanding towards ourselves. It's time to transform the way you converse with yourself. Once upon a time, there was a person named Sam who was always hard on herself. Sam was a perfectionist, setting impossibly high standards for herself and feeling devastated when she couldn't reach them. She was her own harshest critic, always berating herself for any perceived shortcoming or failure. This constant barrage of self-criticism took a heavy toll on her, draining her energies and casting a shadow over her everyday life. Happiness seemed to elude her, replaced by a constant sense of dissatisfaction and self-doubt. Sam's mind was like a battlefield, a place of constant struggle and turmoil. She found herself constantly battling feelings of inadequacy, guilt, and shame. She was trapped in a cycle of negative self-talk, and it seemed there was no escape. But then, one day, Sam stumbled upon a concept that would change her life, self-compassion. She learned that this is not about self-pity or self-indulgence, but about treating oneself with the same kindness, warmth, and understanding that one would extend to a loved one. Intrigued, Sam decided to give self-compassion a try. She began to challenge her critical inner voice and replace it with a gentler, more supportive one. She started to acknowledge her flaws and failures not as signs of inadequacy, but as part of the shared human experience. She learned to comfort and soothe herself in times of pain and distress, rather than punishing herself with harsh self-judgment. This was not an easy journey. There were times when Sam fell back into her old patterns of self-criticism, but each time she picked herself up, dusted herself off, and reminded herself of the importance of self-compassion. Slowly but surely, Sam began to notice changes. She felt lighter, happier, more at peace with herself. She felt more resilient, better able to handle life's ups and downs without beating herself up. She found that by giving herself a break, she was not only kinder to herself, but also to others. From that day forward, Sam's life took a turn for the better. Sam's story is a reminder that it's okay to be kind to ourselves. Throughout his journey, Sam learned that the voice inside his head, the one that often criticized and belittled him, was not his enemy, but a misguided friend. He realized that this voice was trying to protect him, to keep him safe from disappointment and failure, but in doing so, it was also keeping him from growth, from learning, from experiencing the full spectrum of life. Sam's journey taught him, and all of us, the power of self-compassion. To treat ourselves with the same warmth, understanding, and gentleness that we would offer to someone we deeply care about. To allow ourselves to stumble, to fall, and to get back up again. To understand that it's okay to not be okay sometimes because it's in these moments of struggle and failure that we truly grow and learn. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters. Give yourself the love and kindness you deserve.